Well, I take a look. Take a look at this recorder. A Magnavox portable reel-to-reel -reel that a friend got for me at a thrift store. It's in near mint condition, except for one cosmetic d issue. There is a crack right there on the back. On the side, we have a, a switch for DC and AC for you know for batteries or AC. There's a part to put the AC cord, and over here we have foot switch, remote, microphone, radio, and monitor. This machine is technically made by Sanyo. As a matter of fact, this machine uses the same mechanics as the RCA YJS20E recorder that I have and Clyde Sight's Wallen Sack 3500 reel to reel tape recorder. All made by Sanyo. This is a 5 inch recorder, but I'm going to be using these 3.5 inch reels to make a quick test voice recording so I don't have to like do a bunch of rewinding and fast forwarding. I'll be using the microphone that goes to the RCA YJS20E. I'm sorry this is going to probably be long, one of my longer videos. Turn the remote switch off and then I can set my level here. Zoom in down there to the darkened level meter that you can barely see. Um, of course, yeah. This is a waste of time when I stop the camera. Now I'm running the sometimes noisy Magnavox reel to reel portable tape recorder. I don't know the model number, I'd have to check. I'd have to look on the bottom of it or whatever. And of course, we'll rewind it. Now I'm running the sometimes noisy Magnavox reel to reel portable tape recorder. I don't know the model number. I'd have to check. I'd have to look on the bottom of it or whatever. It's the Magnavox model 2TR107M. You may have been able to hear the sound of the camera in the background too. The camera's motor running. This is manual level control only, by the way. Set the level higher without it all the way up at arm's length distance right here. Set it smaller and set it up to my mouth here. It has volume and tone and a pretty good amplifier. This one does incorporate use of a capstan sleeve and does switch the equalization for 1 and 7 eighths. I'm now running this recorder at 1 and 7 eighths inches per second. It sounds quite well for 1 and 7 eighths inches per second compared to most portable reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders. Let's see how this comes out. The reason why it sounds better is because it actually changes the equalization, unlike most portable reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders. I like the looks of this machine. It looks very nice. And now let's hear how to record music at three and three fourths. I'm shouting all about love. Well, they cheated you like a dog. No WMG, no! I just hope this song was not a WMG song. Because I'd be extremely annoyed if it was. By the way, when I got this, it started up very slowly and fast forward barely worked. I had to clean the belt and the belt path and move a little piece. It made the belt just a little bit tighter and it has greatly improved the operation. I want to be showing how it recorded music at 1 and 7 eighths, but i got to get to that spot on the tape. Let's hear how this sounds to an external speaker. Oh, 
That's a pretty good bass response that you don't normally hear out of the built-in speaker. And before I go, I want to show these vintage Magnavox batteries. There were six of them inside the recorder when I got it. The original Magnavox batteries, they're dead now, but amazingly enough are very clean and have no corrosion on them. Isn't that amazing? No corrosion.